Hi and welcome students. In this tutorial I'll be talking about Microsoft Word 2016 and I'm going to show you how to use read mode as well as PDF reflow in your documents. So I'm going to cover both these topics right now and we'll go ahead and start with this Microsoft Word document that I have here. Now this document is a research paper and it has one graphic on it and it has two pages long. Now many people when they use Microsoft Word they use it specifically for reading. Let's say that you're taking a class and you want to open up the syllabus and it's in Microsoft Word and you want to read the syllabus and you don't necessarily want to edit anything. Uh, you could zoom in on your document and just read down like that but that's going to be a lot of scrolling after a while and it's not really the best way to manage your computer's screen. So the best way to manage your computer's screen whether you're using a laptop or a tablet or a desktop anything like that or even your phone is with Microsoft's Word's read mode. Now read mode can be found right here in the view tab. So anytime you open up Microsoft Word, go to the view tab and this is just for if you're planning on reading your Word documents, not editing anything at all. Then go over here to the views group and hover over read mode which is in the le left side of the uh, group and it says the best way to read a document including some tools designed for reading instead of writing so if I know that I'm going to be reading something in Microsoft Word then I click right here on read mode and take a look what happens it converts to Microsoft Word to use and optimize your full screen so instead of having the ribbon up at the top now it's a collapsed ribbon up here uh, and it's really more of a, of a menu area and and most of your screen is then used for reading. So notice that if I click on anything, it doesn't really move the cursor or anything like that. So now what I could do is I can use my whole screen to read. And if I ever want to move forward in my document, I could either scroll down on my mouse or I could press this right button right here and it will take me to the end of the document eventually. So the left button will move you to the left, the right button moves you to the right. So as you read you can move through. Now let's say that this picture is too small. If I double click on it I'll actually see a larger size version of that picture and then I could click anywhere outside of the picture to return to where I was. So now that we know a little bit about read mode let's go ahead and see what tools are available within read mode. Well if you go to the file tab it's just like going to the file tab on any other document so I'm not going to go over that but right here we see tools if I click on tools I could find any specific word or phrase on the document so it's kind of like a control F is right there Finally, uh, the view tab, or I guess the view button right here, uh, that allows you to go back to editing the document. So if you ever want to go back to editing or back to our regular view, you can click right there on edit document and it'll do that. Now if you want to see the navigation pane while you move through, you can do that and that's a quick way to jump to a different heading or a different section of the uh, document. You could show the comments, you could uh, go over the column width within uh, read mode. So if you want to go wide mode, we'll see what that looks like. And you can see wide mode shows you the whole page long rather than breaking it into columns. So that's kind of nice too, depending on what you like. Uh, and you could also go narrow as well. So depending on what device you can or you're using, we'll decide kind of what you do there. You can go over the page color, and if you wanted to use sepia or inverse, you could do that. And then finally, you can lay it out in column or paper layout, and then you can actually go right down here to uh, read aloud and it'll read the document out loud for you and hopefully you guys could hear that so it's you could use that as well all right so uh, you can kind of listen as you work there so that's a nice feature in Microsoft Word and so now I'm going to go over PDF reflow which is the second half of this video so PDF reflow so I already have a video on how to turn word into PDF so let's say I go to the view tab and I want to get back to where I was in editing a document well I have this document saved as a PDF right now and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, open that PDF from Microsoft Word. So if I go to the File tab and I go to Open right here and I open from wherever I have that saved, I'm going to go right here to Open and it's going to save or I'm going to open up this document right here. Okay, now this is the same document it just has a different name and this is a PDF file. Okay, and so if I open it from Microsoft Word this is how you convert PDF to Microsoft Word. It's going to say Word will now convert the, your PDF to an editable Word, editable Word document. It may take a while. Resulting, uh, or the resulting document 
will be optimized for you to edit it. So now we don't have to edit anything in PDF. Uh, those are mostly meant for viewing. And so we can edit it and bring it into Microsoft Word. And if the PDF contains things like a lot of images or graphics or anything like that, it may end up looking kind of strange on your Microsoft Word document, but you could always edit those things later. So I click OK and it's going to convert that PDF to Microsoft Word. And you can see it right here. This is actually the other document. Okay, and you can see it looks pretty good. So it turned out pretty nice. So you don't need any software to actually convert your PDF files to Microsoft Word. Instead, you just open up Microsoft Word and then open up the PDF file and it'll do all of the converting for you. So you don't need any uh, third party or free resources or anything like that. Again, it's all within Microsoft Word. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, if this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions about anything I did on this video or Microsoft Word in general, please leave a comment. And if you're trying to learn more about Microsoft Word, make Make sure you check out my Microsoft Word 2016 playlist. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.